This is part 72 of C-sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss dictionary object in C-sharp. A dictionary is a collection of key value pairs. So when we create a dictionary, we need to specify the type for key and value. And this dictionary class is present in system.collections.generic namespace. And the fastest way to find a value within the dictionary is by using its key and keys within the dictionary must be unique. Let's understand this dictionary with an example. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have a console application. We'll be making use of a customer class in this demo. So here we have a customer class with three auto-implemented properties. First of all, let's go ahead and create some customer objects. So let's call this maybe customer1 equals new customer. And then let's initialize the properties. Let's say ID equals 101, maybe name equals mark, and salary equals 5000. And let's create two other customer objects. So let's make a copy of this customer object. And let's change the object name to customer day 2 and here customer 3. And let's set ID to maybe 110. Bam and maybe something like 6500 and similarly let's set this to maybe 119 is the customer ID John is the name of the customer and maybe his salary is 3500 okay now let's go ahead and create a customer dictionary first of all this dictionary class is present in system.collections.generic namespace so let's go ahead and bring that in All right, now, when we create a dictionary, we need to specify the data type for its key and value. So basically, remember, a dictionary is a collection of key value pairs, okay? So let's create a dictionary. And look at this, the moment I open this angular bracket, you know, it asks for the type for the key and the type for the value. So we are going to create a customer's dictionary and the key for this dictionary is going to be the ID of the customer and the value is going to be the customer object itself okay so the key is going to be integer because our, we want our key to be customer ID and customer ID is of type integer and the value is going to be the customer object itself so the type is going to be customer and let's give this dictionary a meaningful name let's call this dictionary maybe customers so we have just created a customer's dictionary. The type for the key is integer and the value, uh, I mean the type for the value is customer. Okay, now let's add these customer objects to our dictionary. All right, and to add items to the dictionary, we use add method. Okay, and look at this, the moment I open the bracket, it prompts me the key has to be integer and the value has to be customer object so where do I get customer one's ID from using the customer one object so customer one dot ID is going to give us the ID of customer one which is an integer type and we want to store the object itself customer one object and similarly let's go ahead and store customer two and customer three All right, so at this point, we have created a dictionary and we added um, customer objects to the dictionary, okay? Now, we want to find customers within this dictionary and the best way to find a value within the dictionary is by using its key. What's the key here? Um, the ID of the customer. Now, let's say I want to find the details of this customer who has got this ID 119. So, the fastest way to retrieve this customer object from this dictionary is to use the key for that dictionary. The key here is customer ID which is 119. So look at this. The moment I say dictionary of customers, open a square bracket, look at that, it prompts me to enter the key. Okay, what is the key? It's customer ID of type integer. So we want the details of customer 119 so I simply pass their ID and look at what it is returning back it's returning a customer object back so let's store that in a variable of type customer and maybe let's call this customer 119 okay 
so we have just retrieved a value from the dictionary using its key all right now if I want to print the details of this customer we can simply use console.write line let's say I want to print I day and I also want to print name and then salary as well okay so where are we going to get the ID from from this customer object so customer 119 dot ID their name and finally their salary all right so let's run this and see if we get the details of customer whose ID is 119 there we go the details match all right okay so is it possible to loop through each item within the dictionary absolutely now if we have a list of customers for example then we can loop through each item within that list of customers using a for each loop similarly here I have a dictionary of customers so is it possible to loop through each item within that dictionary absolutely okay so let's use a for each loop let's get rid of this line right here so for each now if you have a list of customers then you know that list is a collection of customer objects but here this dictionary is not as simple as saying this dictionary is a collection of customers it's actually a collection of customers and their IDs so here we have the key and a value okay so a dictionary is a collection of key value pairs so here when we loop through we have to use key value pair because a dictionary is essentially a collection of key value pair objects and when we use key value pair we need to specify the type of the key and the type of the value the type of the key is customer ID which is integer and the type of the value is customer object itself and give this a meaningful name and maybe let's call it customer key value pair in dictionary customers okay now to get the key from the key value pair all you need to do is customer key value pair dot key and look at that what is it returning it is it is returning an integer back nothing but the ID of the customer so let's say we want to print the ID console dot write line ID equals so that should print the ID now what is the value within this key value pair it's nothing but the customer object itself so look at this the moment we say customer key value pair dot value and look at the IntelliSense what is it returning back it's returning a customer object back so let's store that in a variable of type customer maybe let's call it cust alright now if we want to get the out, um, values out of this customer object we can very easily do that using the respective properties ID name and salary so maybe let's go ahead and print the ID um, name and salary so again to do, do that ID equals maybe a placeholder there similarly name equals and salary equals all right so cust dot ID and similarly customer dot name and customer dot salary so when we run this as you might expect it should loop through each customer and then pull out their um, probably let's call this key because we are actually pulling out the key so we know that's the key and this one is the value and then maybe let's include a dotted line here so that each customer will be separated alright so let's go ahead and run this now it should loop through each customer and print their values look at that we have customer whose key is 101 110 119 and their respective details so you can find you know values within a dictionary either by using the key like this which is the fastest way basically to retrieve an item from the dictionary or you can loop through each item within the dictionary okay and keep in mind a dictionary is a collection of key value pairs 
okay now here we are using a key value pair now instead of using key value pair we can also use an implicitly typed variable something like this var okay now if I run this it's still going to work the same way let's go ahead and close these windows here let me run this once again look at that I have the same output instead I mean the only change here is we have changed you know the data type to var the implicitly typed variable now do we should we use this one or should we use key value pair my personal preference to use key value pair because that way your code is more readable rather than using this implicitly typed variable because just by looking at this code right now here I can't tell what is the type of the key and what is the type of value on the other hand if you use key value pair then you know you know what is the type of the key and what is the type of the value okay so your code is more readable so as far as possible try avoid uh, using this var keyword which is an implicitly typed variable all right now is it possible just to loop through uh, the keys within the dictionary absolutely if you want to just get keys let's actually comment this line so I want to loop through you know through all the keys within the dictionary if you want to do that so dictionary object has got keys property so which is going to return the list of keys back now what are our key I mean what is the data type of our key it's nothing but an integer so we are going to get an integer back okay so let's call this maybe key and then let's say console dot right line the key so it should print out all the keys now so let me go ahead and run this and look at that we have all the keys similarly is it possible to retrieve only the values that are there within the dictionary absolutely so instead of using dot keys property all you need to do is use dot values property but what is value type it's nothing but a customer which means we are going to get a customer back so let's call this maybe customer and let's say cust is the name of the reference variable let's get rid of this one let's uncomment this line so if you look at this piece of code it's straightforward all we are doing is we are retrieving the ID name and salary from that customer object so let's go ahead and run this now and look at that you get their values as expected alright now another thing to keep in mind is the keys within the dictionary must be unique so if you look at this dictionary this customers dictionary we already have used these three keys 101 110 and 119 so what happens if I try to add let's get rid of this code so what's gonna happen if I try to add maybe customer one object once again when I build this do I get a compile error no build succeeded but when I run this we get a runtime exception look at that argument exception an item with the same key has already been added so we already have a key with the same I mean the same key within the dictionary so we have that exception so keys within the dictionary must be unique when you try to add them make sure you know the keys the key doesn't already exist so how to check if a key exists or not again this dictionary object has a class uh, method called contains key okay so you can specify the, the key that you want to add there you can pass it as a parameter so if that dictionary doesn't contain that key then go ahead and add this so if you're not sure whether the key is present within a dictionary or not you can use this contains key method it returns a boolean a true or a false so let me run this now look at that we don't get any error right now because this piece of code wouldn't be executed because the key is already there so this line will be skipped not only while adding even when you retrieve the values from the dictionary using keys make sure the dictionary has got the key before you try to retrieve a value look at this when I say um, customer maybe cust equals um, dictionary customers 
and then let's say I want to retrieve a customer um, object whose ID is maybe 135. Now, does this dictionary contain a, a value with that ID? No, it doesn't. So what happens when I try to build a solution? Look at this. Build succeeded. We don't get any compiler error. But when I actually run this, we get an exception at runtime. Key not found it. exception. So basically, you try to look up a key that doesn't exist. So you use this key that doesn't exist. And that's why we have that exception. So again, check if the key exists or not. How do you do that? The same idea. So dictionary customers dot contains key, whatever key that you are trying to look up. So if that key is present, only then execute this piece of code. There are several other useful functions within this dictionary class. We'll discuss them in our next video session. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.